Hello friends, this is Dr. Orgho Basu, gastro and cancer surgeon, welcoming you all to another interesting episode of our healthy chit chat. Today we are going to talk a little bit of the eternal problem in a bong's life, gas and acidity. Hello friends, this is Dr. Orgho Basu, gastro and cancer surgeon, welcoming you all to a very interesting episode of your own YouTube channel Arogdom where we discuss various gastro cancer and surgery related problems and try to help our patients and viewers with accurate and state of the art medical guidance even at personal level. I have often met with patients who come rushing to my OPDs after seeing uh, 100 or 150 another gastroenterologists uh, Stating me, sir, mera gas to mera sar pe chad ja raha hai. Uske baad wo gas niche hath pe chadta hai. Phir wohan se niche aata hai. Aur pura sarir, pura tabiyat kaise kharaab ho jata hai. Aur uska baad sun ke, mera tabiyat kharaab ho jata hai. I feel tremendously sick after listening to these descriptions. And this is day to day job of my profile. Being a gastro and cancer surgeon, I have to meet these patients every day, which are actually psychogenic, not properly a pathologic patient who is having some pathology inside his or her tummy. So let's come to the physiology first. What is gas and what is acidity? All of us know that our stomach or tummy have a acid known as hydrochloric acid which God has given to our stomach for easy digestion of all food matters. Now, what is hydrochloric acid? It is the same acid that we utilize as muriatic acid to clean our toilets. It is the same. The difference is the strength is different. What you use in your washrooms has a separate strength and what you have in your tummy is a separate strength. And you will be astonished to see or to know that the acid you have in your tummy is actually more dangerous than the acid that is you use to clean your washrooms. That is the beauty of our body. But till even after having such a corrosive acid, our stomach is not getting dissolved. How is that? Because God has provided us with a layer of mucinous material, mucus, the same slimy material that comes out when we get uh, cough and cold, the same uh, mucoid material that comes out when we have diarrhea or dysentery, the same mucoid material. Our stomach has a layer of mucus in its inner lining which protects this acid to cause any damage to our normal wall of stomach. Now when does problem occur? when this mucoid layer is getting damaged because of one or the other reason. And at that point of time, there is either excess production of acid or the acid is causing direct damage or corrosion to the wall of the stomach. That is leading to your pain in the tummy, heartburn, uh, excess flatulence, where you are passing more gas through by in the form of burping or in the form of passing flatus or gas through the anus or you are having excess flatulence that is you are feeling that your tummy is always full with so much amount of gas that you are feeling uncomfortable and some of my patients also feel that this uh, tremendous amount of gas is putting tremendous pressure over their heart and over their lung also which is damaging their heart and lung, which is not actually true. So these are the common myths and facts about gas and acidity that we encounter in our day-to-day -day practice. What is the most common cause of this gas and acidity? The commonest cause is less and inadequate water intake, which is most prevalently seen among teenage girls. Most of our ladies in our country are very much miser to take adequate amount of water because they feel shy to go to toilet outside their home or outside their office, outside their known territories. And that is why they 
actually tend to take less amount of water as they are afraid of going to washrooms frequently outside their known territory which is actually disastrous to their health in short term as well as long term. This is the commonest cause. The next common cause is excess intake of fast food like chow mein, like noodles, like uh, kebabs, like smoked food, like half, half cooked food which actually damages the entire mucosal uh, uh, layers of stomach which are made up of mucoid materials. This, whenever this mucoid layer is destroyed, this hydrochloric acid of stomach directly corrodes the wall of stomach, which leads to excruciating pain in stomach. So one should avoid these fast foods, which are half cooked or steamed uh, as much as possible to maintain a healthy stomach microbial flora. You can prevent the damage to this mucoid uh, layer of our stomach by taking adequate amount of prebiotic and probiotics also. Prebiotic and probiotics are some beneficial bacteria which actually helps to maintain the normal microbial flora of the stomach and uh, they also help us to regenerate some vitamins and minerals which are helpful to our body in some other means. So one should always take some amount of curd in their milk which is the natural source of prebiotic and probiotics and if one is acutely deficient he can take uh, any sort of prebiotic probiotic capsules or such as in number of prebiotic sachets are available in the market. The third common cause of gastritis is excessive smoking or alcoholism. Both smoking and alcoholism increases the level of uh, adrenaline in our body. Smoking increases the level of nicotine and alcohol causes alcoholic surge which ultimately leads to more acid production in our stomach. So whenever our stomach has a limited capacity and more acid is produced and secreted in the lumen of the stomach, that acid will automatically corrode the wall of the stomach. That will lead to vomiting, that will lead to pain in abdomen, that will lead to in number of other symptoms which our famous bone gaseous patients suffer from. The next common cause is more than adequate uncontrolled feeding. We are bong. Ham log to khate pite ghar ke hai. Ham log without taking more amount of sweets and lipids. Kaise chalega bhai? Then we will be losing weight. Aise to nahi chalta hai. If you can't check your carb, if you can't check your lipids, if you can't check your fast food taking profile, you won't stop suffering from gas and acidity. The first thing you have to follow if you uh, want to control your gas and acidity level is have a control over your diet. Go to a dietitian or a nutritionist, take a healthy meal, take advice for proper meals, get uh, adequate amount of fresh foods, natural food, take amount of uh, good amount of fluids in your body, take uh, green leafy vegetables so that you get an adequate purging in the uh, morning so that your uh, body, body gets devoid of all sort of toxins formed in the ileum and colon. Then only you can get devoid of that problem of gas and acidity. If your intake or input is much more than required and your output is nil, naturally there will be a traffic jam inside your intestines. That will lead to your problem of gas and acidity. Next comes another point which actually pathologically causes uh, gastritis or excessive gas and acidity. That is H. pylori infection. H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori is another kind of microbe which is midway between bacteria and virus, which actually is prevalent in third world countries or where people live in a congested, unhealthy kind of uh, um, sanitations and it spreads by water through fico oral route through water transmissions only. These uh, microbe actually forms colonies inside the patient's stomachs and they spread in huge numbers within no time. So whenever you are suffering from excess acidity 
always and always do one endoscopy first. What is endoscopy? Endoscopy is a procedure by which a video tube is passed through your uh, mouth into your stomach through your food pipe just to check whether everything is all right or not. And whenever you are doing one endoscopy, don't, don't and don't forget to get one RUT done. Now what is RUT? RUT means rapid urea test. This is the test by which while doing endoscopy, a few drop of gastric juice is collected with the endoscopy and a test is done, a test is run on that gastric juice sample to see whether there is Helicobacter pylori present or not. If uh, the patient is also given a kit which has a yellow dot inside that kit. Now if that kit after putting the gastric juice becomes pink or red within one hour then the test is positive. Now if your RUT is positive that means you are harboring H. pylori in your stomach then you have to undergo anti H. pylori treatment in the form of different kits which contain PPI or antacids, multiple antibiotics, ulcer healers etc etc. I am not going into technicalities but you have to undergo treatment for anti H. pylori regimes for at least 15 days to one month and then you have to repeat endoscopy with RUT again to see whether the infection has been totally eradicated or not. Unless you treat uh, this H. pylori you are not going to get cured. In 99% of the centers I have seen they perform only endoscopy without doing any RUT which is not at all right. So whenever I prescribe a endoscopy I always uh, recommend a RUT to be done mandatorily, mandatorily just to ensure that I am eradicating H. pylori from this patient's stomach. Please listen to the video till the very end so that you don't miss any vital point and at last where I will share with you the links how you can get in touch with me and get personalized advice and guidance. Now we will go to the treatment and further discussions part but before that if you are enjoying the show and agar aapko koi benefit mil raha hai to please ये चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए एंड बेल आइकॉन को प्रेस कर दीजिए सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन एवरी टाइम वी पोस्ट अ वीडियो एंड दिस विल गिव मी एंड माय टीम अ ह्यूज इंस्पिरेशन फॉर आवर हार्ड वर्क थैंक यू नाउ विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स डाइव डीप इनटू द प्रॉब्लम एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टैकल इट ऑफन आई गेट अ गुड नंबर ऑफ रेफरल्स फ्रॉम माय कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट फ्रेंड्स for performing surgeries. Now you will get astonished how a cardiologist will get a surgical patient to send to a gastro and cancer surgeon. The thing is there are numerous instances whenever a patient is having excess glass, flatulence and acidity and it causes heartburn. So the patient thinks that and the relatives also think that the patient is getting a heart attack. So he or she gets admitted to a cardiac center where numerous tests are being performed including angiography and uh, halter and echo and so on and so forth and at the end of the entire battery of tests the patient is diagnosed to have a small gallstone. That is the scenario in most of the cases where the patient is having gastritis because of gallstone. Gastritis is not a disease it is just a symptom any abdominal pathology will ultimately and initially lead to gastritis. It might be pancreatitis, it might be any growth, it might be any obstruction, it might be appendicular perforation, it might be cirrhosis of liver, it might be gallstone, it might be CVD stone, whatever it might be, there are n number of reasons. All these abdominal diseases cause gastritis as first hand. So don't treat gastritis, try to treat the underlying disease that is causing the gastritis. So the routine and basic ultrasonography, one ultrasonography is absolutely mandatory to see whether there are any intra-abdominal pathologies or not. And then comes if ultrasonography is normal, then we can see that we can assume that the cause of the disease is located inside the stomach. In that case, we will go for an endoscopy with 
आर यू टी आर यू टी एंड आर यू टी जस्ट टू इरेडिकेट योर एच पाइलोरी नाउ द लास्ट कॉज ऑफ दिस लिस्ट इज प्योरली साइकोजेनिक आई हैव सीन न्यूमरस पेशेंट्स हु हैज वेस्टेड लैक्स ऑफ मनी बिहाइंड न्यूमरस लैब्स न्यूमरस इंस्टीट्यूट्स एंड न्यूमरस डॉक्टर्स हु हैज परफॉर्म न्यूमरस टेस्ट विदाउट एनी रिजल्ट ऑल द रिजल्ट आर नॉर्मल एंड सो ऑल दिस मनी वेंट इन टू वेन दिस पेशेंट्स कैन बी इजीली क्योर्ड बाई गिविंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्राइसाइक्लिक एंटी डिप्रेसेंट्स हुई क्योर्स देयर एसिडिटी इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस सो द टेक होम स्टडी इज टेक होम मेसेज इज टू गेट रिलीफ फ्रॉम एक्सेस गैस एंड एसिडिटी इज वी हैव टू मेनटेन आ हेल्दी लाइफ स्टाइल वी शुड टेक एडिक्यूट अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर fruits vegetables green leafy vegetables specially so that our bowel is clear we should uh, quit all sorts of addictions like alcohol like smoking whatever you have we should avoid binge eating we should avoid binge drinking and we should maintain a healthy sporty lifestyle uh, to stay fit and stay healthy you can get connected with me and follow my posts videos and blogs in my social handles given in the description box just below if you want a personal consultation with me please whatsapp or call in the following numbers my team members will personally get in touch with you as soon as possible